And for the first time in nearly four weeks, the Miami Hurricanes are in some live game action. Donde opens up the scoring for the Hurricanes. It's Penn Donde, Mbandu, Marshall, Ariavets, and Gray for Miami as Wake Forest counters at the other end. Nine on the countdown. The defense down low from Pendande, but a big time spin move. And how about that finish from Christina? And this time it's Pendande who gets the better of her. And the Hurricanes have numbers the other way. Kelsey Marshall thinks about it in three. Instead kicks to Mikea Gray, and she knocks it down. Yeah, smart move. Gave up a good shot for a great shot. Russell letting them play. Backer out to a wide open Kaya Harrison, and you can't give her that much space. Knocks it down to put Wake Forest back on top. It's a tough take. Good defense from Marshall. Area of X, transition three ball is good. That's her shot. On this hardwood floor. Jolly Tobdy, I think Wake Forest wanted an offensive foul there. But passed it up, gives to C.D. Baba. Gets it back and throws it away. There's Mikea Gray to keep it alive. Well, it was frantic. It was all over, but it's two points for the Hurricanes. We've had a few opportunities that they have gotten from the scrambling. And there's Jewel Spear on the board for the first time. A little bit of defensive collapse there. Some gives off to Olivia Sumio. Spear working on CD Baba out in the corner to Alyssa Andrews. Here's Spear again. Pulling pop 17 footers. Good right on cue. Tamara knocks it down. Scruggs slows it down. Gives to Spear. Can she make it three in a row? Yes! Jewel Spear with the triple. Mora working on Jaldi Tobdi. That looked like a walk. Katie Meyer is about two feet onto the court expressing her displeasure, and you can't blame her. It looked like. So it, it'll be really fun to see when we can pick all the pieces up. I'm sure um, this is. And, and there she is with a block, bringing that energy right off the bench. And there she is again. Miami playing off of Becker there, but she takes it into the rim and finishes. Miami simply cannot buy a bucket right now as Kelsey Marshall had to the scorer's table to come back in. Jewel Spear working on Mikea Gray. Nice move, and Look the floater's good. That. How about that finish from Jewel Spear? And Miami's going to take a timeout. Another look at that finish from Jewel Spear. She's been involved in making plays and you for know, Wake Forest. Yeah, and as a coach, those are the type of players that you want that does things that don't show up on the stat sheet. Becker working on Marshall. Backs her down into the paint, spins to her right, puts it up and finishes. That's a nice play from Naya Becker. A fun matchup to see. Jewel Spear on one of the top freshman defenders in the country, Jalea Williams. Down low and finishing is Christina Mora. Miami got that big turnover there. Can they turn it into points? Lachey Dwyer splits four black jerseys and lays it in. Come halftime. Jen Hoover, of course, wanted her team to pretty much do the exact same thing it's been doing. Just maybe make some free throws and take care of the ball in the backcourt. Nice pass from Area Vets to Jaleel Williams. It's a quick 6-0 burst for the Hurricanes, and Hoover's going to take a timeout. Network Extra, another bucket for the Canes. Hurricanes with a chance to pull back within single digits here. Kelsey Marshall drives right, right to the rim, and she finishes through contact. Here's Jalea Williams. She drives right on Kaya Harrison. Stop and pop off the glass and in. 12 in a row for the Hurricanes. They're within seven. And Maeva Jaldi Tobdi grabs her rebound. Excuse me, Lola Pendande. Marshall for three. She there got it. Is. That's 272. She ties Raquana Williams. Looking for their first bucket. Three ball is up, rattles around, does not fall. CD Baba, the hit ahead to Jaleel Williams. That's as easy as a bucket as she'll have as a collegian. It's 17 <laughs> points in a row at two point game. Not often you see former college teammates face off, although given the proliferation of transfers, would imagine it will start to become more and more common. 
as finally getting on the board is Wake Forest on a three-pointer from Olivia Summia. Destiny Harden back in the ballgame for Miami. Nice play, and there's Harden with a swat. Okay. Driving in is Harrison, and she gets a friendly roll. And another steal. Hurricanes bringing it down the court the other way. Pendande, another missed layup, but Dwyer's there to clean it up. The game really seemed to change once Miami started forcing steals with that pressure. The question is whether or not that 19-point hole was too much to dig out, and that'll help. Ooh. Carla Ariavets knocks the deficit back down to two, just a fourth three of the night for the Canes. Kaya Harrison has four. A few players with three each way, but that's not a huge issue with six minutes to go as Mora finishes past Jaldi Tobdi to double the lead. Air ball. Area vets with a rebound. Miami's got a two-on-one the other way. Marshall takes it herself, then dumps it off to Williams, who finishes from a tough angle. Back within two is Miami. Once again for Miami to tie or take the lead. Carla Ariavet, stop, pop, jumper, front rim, no good. How about that board from Jaleel Williams? And it's tied at 43. The Hurricanes have come all the way back from a 19-point deficit. Jalea Williams, by the way, with 10 points. She's been huge for Miami off the bench. Four to shoot. Marshall defending. And one! Jewel Spear, her first points of the second half. What an answer by Wake Forest. Jaldi Tobdi drives in, and Miami counters right back. It's a one-point game with two to go. Williams still on her, now five. Down low to Mora, working on Jaldi Tobdi. Doesn't get the roll. The Canes can go in front in the final minute. CD Baba to Marshall. Pull up jumper, no good. Drives to her right. Six to shoot, now five. Working on Kelsey Marshall in the paint. Out to Kaya Harrison for three, no good. Rebound grabbed by CD Baba. She immediately takes timeout, and Miami can advance the ball. Ariavets picks up her dribble, down low. Jaldi Tabi spins, does not get the roll, and the rebound stays with Miami. That was a great look for Maeva Jaldi Tabdi. Marshall to Jaldi Tabdi. She can't get a clean handle on it, and Wake Forest wins. The Deacons watched a 19-point lead.